Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over the best hosting for WordPress in 2020. So before we dive in, I just wanted to go a little bit over what I'm going to be talking about here and just touch on something before we dive in. So there are many people out there who discuss web hosting on YouTube or recommend different sites that people should use for their hosting. And I really just wanted to point out that these people are often swayed by what affiliate commissions they're going to be getting or they're just recommending things based on what's most popular or what they can get the biggest discount on when they're recommending a hosting service. And really that's something I wanted to stay away from here. I really wanted to focus on what are the three best lower cost WordPress hosts and what are the three best higher end WordPress hosts out there. So I really wanted to just dive into that and be transparent with you that these ones aren't going to be giving me the biggest commission. I'm going to have affiliate links in the description if you want to use them. If not, that's totally up to you but I'm not even going to go over ones that I think are bad. These ones are all going to be ones that I actually think are good hosts for WordPress. I'm not going to be recommending something like GoDaddy where I've had just awful experiences or HostGator where there's just been such bad support at times when I've tried them in the past. So these three are all going to be ones that I actually tested myself and I tried them on unique domain names and in each of these plans, I did it with an Astra theme and the plugin for a starter site plugin and the Elementor plugin as well. So I tested each of these for 30 days and all of these plans come with a free SSL and the free Cloudflare CDN on them. So they should be pretty quick plans out of the box. I know a lot of these hosts that other people recommend don't come with these out of the box. So Let's dive into the criteria that I use to compare these and then I'll break down a chart that I made showing each of these for the higher cost and the lower cost host options. So first we went over speed and I think speed is maybe one of the most important things that you're going to want to look for when it comes to hosting. Now support, now that's going to be subjective to my opinion based on experience. I've done things like submit tickets or done live chat requests. I've done all different things with this to test out the support over time here and I've come up with what I think is the best ranking but I will say all of the support for these hosts is good so I want to get that out of the way and make that clear that they're all good they're all good enough to be beneficial to most people out there that are trying to host a website none of these hosts are going to have bad support or they wouldn't even be on this list so the next thing is cost because it is something that a lot of people need to be aware of and really cost structure and how things work. The next is uptime. If your site is not up and live on the internet, when people want to go to it, you could be losing sales, losing money, and it's just overall a negative thing. All of these do have good uptime as well, so I just want to be transparent there. We have a guarantee policy that I wanted to cover with a money back guarantee policy if you do want to try one out and see if it is for you. And then I just went with an overall rank based on these categories and what I thought. So next we're going to dive into the lower cost hosting plans here and to get started we can see that there's speed, support, cost, uptime, guarantee, and the overall rank. So I wanted to go over each of these a little bit more with the speed numbers in particular I want to cover now. So for the speed, the one that came in first for me was Green Geeks, second was A2 Hosting, and third is SiteGround. And these are the three hosts that I would recommend the most for low cost WordPress hosting options. And the total scores for these were 1.2 seconds and I tested this in GT metrics with the domain name and I got 1.2 seconds for Green Geeks for the fully low time speed. For the fully low time speed for SiteGround I had 1.8 seconds and for A2 Hosting's fully low time speed it was 1.4 seconds. So Green Geeks was the fastest out of these three. I tested them multiple times and took the averages when I did these. I didn't test them all on the same day either. I tested them once a week. So the next part I wanted to cover here is support. And I would say SiteGround probably has the best support for any low cost host out there. I think that is pretty far and away a difference and something that sets SiteGround apart from a lot of other hosts out there is their great support. Now Green Geeks also had good support. I put them as second and A2 Hosting also solid. Green Geeks and A2 Hosting are pretty close in this category, but I would say SiteGround is far and away the best support out there if you do run into issues. Now, I was able to get issues resolved with all three of these companies, so they are all good overall. As far as the cost goes, A2 Hosting has 
a better cost option here in terms of what they have to offer. And this actually ties into their guarantee as well a little bit, but I'll get into that in a second. Now, the cost for A2 hosting is lower upfront for plans and they're lower on the renewal of their plans as well. They also offer a one month option if you want to do a month by month plan, which the other two do not. So it's pretty interesting that they have the lowest cost, the one month option plan, and they have an anytime money back guarantee, which I'll get into here. So I think pretty far and away, A2 hosting has the best pricing out of these three. Second would be Green Geeks. They have lower cost, especially on the renewals than SiteGround does. And SiteGround out of these three has the highest cost and renewals of the three plans. Now, with that being said, you can get a bigger discount with Green Geeks when you do a longer plan. But on SiteGround, it might be $5.95 per month. And you're going to get $5.95 for one year, two year, or three year. You might only get $3.95 a month for Green Geeks if you sign up for a three year plan. But the price might be closer to the $5.95 that SiteGround offers for a one year plan. So it's interesting to look at how that is all set up. But overall, you're going to still have a low renewal cost with Green Geeks when comparing it to SiteGround. So the uptime here is tied for first. I only did a 30 day test here and both SiteGround and Green Geeks remain up 100% of the time. So this is a tie for them. And with A2 hosting, I had about 99.2% uptime when you calculate it all out. And I have seen people complain online and Facebook groups about some downtime with A2 hosting. I've never had this issue with either Green Geeks or SiteGround when I use them. So it's something you should be aware of. Now, guarantee the anytime back money back guarantee here that A2 hosting has is very interesting because say you sign up for a three year plan and after a year you want it to switch to Green Geeks, you can actually do that and get your money back for the difference of the plan. So you'll get your money back for those remaining two years, not for the one year you already paid, but you'll get your money back for the difference. I believe that's how that works. And for SiteGround and Green Geeks, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. And each of these is pretty much the industry standard within WordPress hosting or hosting in general. So overall, I had Green Geeks ranked first, SiteGround second, and A2 hosting third. Now, A2 hosting and SiteGround are pretty close when you do this comparison and break it down by where they finished. But I put a little more weight into support in this case than I do things like the anytime guarantee. Uptime is also more heavily weighted in my opinion as well. So that's what bumps SiteGround a little bit ahead of A2 hosting in my rankings. But for me, Green Geeks was a pretty clear favorite with the fast site speed and the lower cost than SiteGround. So before we dive into the next section with the high-end WordPress hosting, I wanted to just quickly cover that there's different data centers for each option. So A2 hosting has data centers in the USA, Europe, and Singapore. SiteGround also has USA, Europe, and Singapore, and Green Geeks has USA, Europe, and Canada in their case. So it is something that you might want to be aware of based on where you are in the world. So next, let's move on to the high-end WordPress hosting plans here. And here we have three different options that I wanted to compare with Kinsta, Liquid Web, and WPX Hosting. And overall, you can see that I had WPX hosting ranked first, Liquid Web second, and Kinsta third. But let's get into that a little bit more. So when I tested the speed, all three of these were off the charge fast. And that's what you can expect with high-end hosting like these options. They were all faster than the lower cost plans that I just reviewed. So it is something that you want to be aware of. And of these, WPX hosting was the fastest option. Now for support, the reason why I had Kinsta in third was because you can't really even contact their live chat support from what I tried without being signed up for a plan. I thought that was a little weird. While Liquid Web and WPX hosting have very, very fast support, they could almost be tied for first here, but I think Liquid Web puts a little bit more effort into the response time that they're providing for their customers or potential customers. So I gave them a slight edge here in the support section. Now cost, I had Kinsta third, Liquid Web second, and WPX hosting first. And to me, this really isn't even that close to call because WPX hosting has way more affordable plans. However, for the cost of what you're gonna get with Liquid Web, 
you get a whole lot more. They have more powerful plans in terms of both storage and bandwidth than the other two options. So for what you're getting, Liquid Web has a lot of value. And Kinsta has comparable plans in what you're actually getting to WPX hosting, but their pricing is higher and more aligned with Liquid Web. And Liquid Web is frankly just offering more storage and bandwidth. So I would give the edge to WPX hosting there, but if you need a lot more bandwidth and storage on your site, so you have a massive website, you would want to go with Liquid Web in that case. So for the uptime, again, this was a 30 day test. And I had Kinsta and Liquid Web tied at first at 100%. And WPX hosting, I had 99.8% uptime, which is almost perfect. So they're all great in terms of uptime, but Kinsta and Liquid Web did have a slight advantage. Now for the guarantee, there is actually no guarantee for Liquid Web, but when I did contact them, they told me that if you contact them within the first few days that you can get a refund on that they want you to be happy that's what i was told now in terms of global data centers kinsta has 20 global data centers i definitely wanted to mention that because liquid web only has usa and europe which is fine but you can get 20 different global data centers with kinsta and wpx hosting has usa uk and australia based data centers for them so these are things that you might want to be aware of when you're looking at the best hosting options for WordPress. And I really want it to be as transparent as possible when I'm going through this and tell you only hosts that I actually truly recommend. I didn't want to run through 20 or 30 different hosts and have 25 of the 30 of them be garbage hosts that nobody wants to use. I really only wanted to cover the ones that are worth actually signing up with. Now again, I am gonna have links in the description below. They are affiliate links. If you use them, I greatly appreciate it. Help support the channel and help me continue to make content for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give it a like if you did and subscribe to the channel for more WordPress content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.